We should vote yes on a new middle school because I think it would be a better learning environment for everyone. It would be safer and it could be something that the county would be very proud of. Even at some points, technology was hard to use because the outlets were either rusted, corroded, or old and they were hard to use. So sometimes I had to share with my partner next to me. And at that time, I really wish that I could have learned on my own time instead of looking off someone else's. One of my worst memories at Dublin Middle School would be in gym. Our um, gym was actually closed for honestly half of my eighth grade and seventh grade year or something like that. Um, and they had scaffolds holding up the gym. So that meant that we had to go outside when it was as hot. And let's be honest, no one took home their gym clothes to wash them. So everyone stunk and everyone was sweaty and it would just continue out throughout. It would, that would continue throughout the day. My seventh grade year at Pulaski Middle School, um, we went on lockdown at least once or twice every couple months. Um, and we were stuck, I was stuck in the band room and there were at least 40, 50 kids in there and it was hot, it was terrible. And we couldn't leave, so. At Delaware Middle School, it was just so hot in the lunchroom that when you went in there, you didn't feel like eating. And I remember one time I was eating and I was just sitting there and literally sweat was dripping off my chin into my food. It was just awful. They just like had the windows cracked and it was still so hot in there. The crack in the wall was very concerning because we weren't told if we were supposed to go to that side of the gym or if we were going to near the beams and we weren't told if it was clear or not. So we were scared, of course. And at some points you could even feel the air come through from the cracks, which was terrifying to me. One time when I was at Pulaski Middle, we were in the middle of eighth grade English and the heater on the wall to start, to start leaking oil and we had to get it fixed and eventually we had to move classrooms and then we eventually got back in the classroom and had and the same issue happen and then on top of that we had to deal with a lot of the room being unbearably cold. Um, with the conditions being so hot at Dublin, I'll, Dublin Middle School, um, it honestly made every student not want to come to school that day just for the fact that we knew that we were going to be sweating and we were not going to be able to concentrate on our schoolwork. On cold days, um, you would really want to be sitting next to the heater, but if you touched it, it kind of burn you. But when you were away from it, it was kind of chilly in the classrooms. At Double Middle School, where the scaffolding was holding the wall up, it would cause holes at the bottom of the wall where mice could just go in and out of the locker room while we were changing, and it would just make us feel so uncomfortable. The hostile rivalry between the middle schools has led to a higher bullying rate and a sense of social anxiety. With the combination of these two schools, not only could we make for better learning, we could also strike down the social barrier of these schools and create a better prerequisite for a positive high school environment. Vote yes on November 7th. Vote yes on November 7th.